Welcome to John the Realtor and welcome to Raw Real Estate, uh, where we generally talk about all things real estate. Uh, but for today, uh, we are going to do another video on our shortcut tutorial. And again, this goes for anybody looking to do um, any kind of video editing. If you're just getting started, uh, this program is uh, a good program to get started with. Um, really easy to use and I mean there's a lot of other programs out there but this program is uh, pretty simple and uh, will allow you to get uh, everything done to give you a professional uh, video look so on the last video I showed you guys uh, how to download the program and I did do um, purposely put in an editing mistake um, so if you can name that mistake uh, then, um, you know, uh, you'll have a little surprise waiting for you, um, for out there. If you're a real estate agent, um, I'll announce that surprise and, uh, it'll be a free copy of a book. And, um, so anyways, uh, let's get started on tutorial number one, uh, which essentially in this tutorial, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to load your, um, video clips and potentially your graphics uh, and as you can see in my recent projects I already have it saying tutorial episode one so we're gonna uh, go ahead and click on that and as of right now there are no clips so there's a few things you want to take a look at um, on your uh, software so down at the bottom um, you're going to see a bunch of options here um, which um, gives you your, your timeline. Um, you can cut, you can copy, you can paste, you can add in, and subtract um, or add and take away um, tracks and stuff. Um, and there's a, other options here which, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, so what you're going to do first and foremost is you want to make sure your playlist is selected. So down here you have your playlist. Okay. You have filters and you have your export. So when you're done you can export your video and this stuff is also up here too okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on playlist and we're going to go ahead and open file so when we open file we're going to go to our videos and we're going to go down to our recording which would have been um, on april 13th which is this one here now what we're going to do is pause it so this is the original video that i edited okay um, and this is so we're gonna use this video to edit uh, and cut scenes and do what we did last time so um, real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you guys or actually let me so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna place this in your playlist so that's clip number one okay now the other thing we have to do is I use a program called OBS, which is a broadcasting software, which allows you to mirror your screen um, and record. Now, the microphone that I used on that is uh, the microphone directly on my computer. Well, that quality is not very good. So what I also did was I plugged in a, uh, one of my cell phones and I recorded the audio with the microphone that you're listening to me on right now, which is better than just the uh, computer microphone. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and also place that in here, which is going to be, um, let's see, this one here. Okay. Now it's black because all I used it for is audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and also place it here. Okay. So in this case, I have to match my audios um, to get them to pair up so that the, the proper audio track is playing during the, the right points of my video, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to timeline and we're gonna add a video track. Now you have video track number one and we're gonna go ahead and place the original video as our video track number one. So what this does is it basically means that your video track is your video track. Number one is your primary video track that people are going to see. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another video track. Okay. And we're going to add the second clip down here. 
Now, as you notice, this there's some space here because I added it wherever, but you can actually drag it and drag your video track wherever you need to, okay? So as of right now, you see both the um, Chrome web page for shotcut.org and you see the black screen from my video from my phone. So obviously the black screen we're not gonna need because it is just gonna be used for audio. So in this case, down in your video tracks, you have an audio button, you have a visual button, and you have a lock or unlock button. So what the lock will do is it'll lock the, the track in place. I don't use this very often because I'm constantly editing, but the video track or the hide track allows you to hide the video. So in this case, we don't need the video, so we're gonna go ahead and hide it. The audio we do need, okay? Now, the audio in your, let me make this a little smaller for you. The audio in this track we're not gonna need, but for today, I just wanted to show you how to add tracks and how to um, uh, place them where you need to. Now, if you have graphics, so for example, I have downloaded some graphics through a website called Panzoid. Okay, you may have to pay for your graphics through that website, um, just as a disclaimer. However, um, what I can do here is I can add another video track, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open file and I'm gonna down, go to my video intros and I'm gonna use the subscribe graphic, which is what we saw in, you saw this in my video, right? So again, I'm gonna add that in here and that is how you add track. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it down here and place it somewhere, doesn't matter where. So what will end up happening is, let's just play this so I can show you how, to, how it works. So, what will end up happening is as you play the video, it will do the okay, subscribe. Now, as you noticed, my audio is way off because my video tracks recorded in different steps. So there, this video, the audio starts right away. And this video, because I clicked record on the cell phone, starts a little bit later. So on the next video, we're gonna show you guys how to cut and how to cut scenes and how to match the audio as well. So for now, this is adding tracks to Shotcut. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next one and we will go from there. Thank you guys very much. Talk to you soon.